Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're in the small Texas coastal town of Rockport, Texas. If you've never been to Rockport, Texas before, let me give you a little tour. That's the Farcical Mountain Range. Starts off, uh, the first peak there is called Raccoon Little Bear. That really prominent, distinguished peak there, that is Mount Judy. So that's a good one. Right there, uh, the one with the three spikes, that one's called the hammer. Yeah. That big one there, the big tall one, that is a tin boat Sasquatch. That's one of the favorite mountain ranges in the area. And uh, in the winter, it's nice. This will all freeze up. You can skate right out to the Farcical Mountain Range. You, ain't got, you guys aren't buying any of this? It's, uh, it's about 87 degrees. It's gorgeous. We got just a few drops of rain earlier. But seriously, if you're new to the channel, I've been living over three and a half years in my F-150. I got a Lear topper on the back. Sleeping down here in the Texas heat. When uh, gas was cheap, I did some traveling. Hopefully gas prices will keep dropping. In this area, the lowest price I've seen was just yesterday at $2.98 a gallon. Got another $0.10 cents off of that using my Murphy points. It's the hottest time of the day, so all of the sane fishermen have left the area. <laughs> There's that mountain range again I keep talking about. It's nice, guys. I mean, two days ago, it was supposed to be raining all day today. So I will definitely take this little drive and enjoy it. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. Happy to be alive. Just finished that book, Cold, by Rockport resident... Wayne L. White. And as I was reading the final pages, maybe the last 16 pages, Wayne walked by three times. So it's not often you get to read a book and have the author uh, walk by you. <laughs> I have a link in the description of this video if you want to check that book out. It's called Cold. And uh, there's a link that would take you right to the Amazon page. So check that out, please. Matter of fact, we might have a little giveaway. We might have a little giveaway, guys. Oh, it's so pretty out. It is absolutely stunning. Hey, bird. Hey, pretty bird. There was three of you guys earlier. Are you an egret? I think you might be. Usually they're a little bit more skittish. There you go. Now he's just going to keep flying to the right, and I'm going to scare him every five or six feet. Or maybe he's following me thinking he's going to catch some fish. It's the weekend, guys. How's your guys' weekend going? What are you doing? Hold on. Wait for it. There's your postcard. You know, I did want to say good morning to my friends at Little Garden Big Dreams in Australia. Hey, Kathy. Roll my intro. <laughs> Good morning, Ishmael. Good morning, Moby.
Hey Ahab, good morning. Good morning Jacques. Good day Bruce. There's the new art center. Is it just me or is it a different color every time we drive by? They just fired a bunch of workers here. Yeah, they said it was pretty easy. They had a lot of concrete evidence. Boom, dad joke. No one was fired from here, guys, that I know of. I hope they finish this by Saturday. <laughs> that thing is just massive. I think they added to it since we last drove by. You know, guys, in my reading, there was a topic that people were discussing. If they made a movie out of your life, who would play you? Now, if it was about my boondocking life the last three and a half years or four years setting up to it, I'd have to go with John Goodman. <laughs> I got to be realistic. I need someone that's a little bit heavy. John Goodman's lost a lot of weight, but I need, uh, I need someone just a little bit heavy. So who would play you? in the movie of your life. I'm not sure who enjoys the artwork around here more. The people or the seagulls. I'm kind of thinking in this case it might be the seagulls. I know this sculpture represents some type of movement, but I'm not sure if it's wind or waves. But it's right by the entrance going into Rockport Beach. There goes someone there. Right by Little Bay. And the day turned real nice. Feels like the wind is picking up a little bit, which is great. Because I need to clean my truck. Start in the back and clean up the front seat. And I would love to do it without mosquitoes all over me. Yeah, that rain brought out the mosquitoes. The ones I haven't seen in a few years. Well, they're back. So wind, don't fail me now. <laughs> I need to get a wet washcloth and scrub my seats. Clean up the love shack. Well guys, I am going to work on getting my truck cleaned out. I have been lackadaisical in keeping my home spiffy jiffy clean. And I need to rectify that situation. I don't like it, but I guess things happen that way. 
but dum but dum <laughs> thanks for riding along today guys thanks for watching